The second time, you know, me and my wife were outside. We didn't, we didn't think we were getting her back. There's nothing in my mind that says the CBZ is not the right thing to do, you know, especially when you're dealing with something like that as a parent. You know, sitting there wish you could stop it, knowing the drugs you're giving her probably aren't going to be any good and, and that they're damaging her in so many other ways. It's just, it's just not right. see her eyes before because they're always shut because she was in seizures. She was over two to three hundred a day. And some of them very small, some of them lasting over 20 minutes in length. The changes yeah. immediately as soon as she started with the CBD, she, you can see her back. Yeah. She, she stopped with the seizures and she just looked back, back to normal like she yeah. was before. She started having all that. Kind of uh, see the prednisone. It was a very nasty steroid, huh? And look what it did to you. It made all of her legs and arms and everything really puffy, huh? They say maybe the time you're a year and a half, it'll be completely gone. Yeah. With the steroids, she gained a lot of weight quickly and started having trouble with her heart and having trouble breathing. We were given. At medication time, was it seven different syringes? I think it was seven, right? Yeah, all of them. At seven different syringes in the morning, at night, and then a couple different ones throughout the day. You know, and now we're down to an antibiotic and the CBD. RSHO has uh, no THC, which was one of my wife's concerns when we were first doing this. And then I put some of the Sibdix drops. And I mix five grams at a time because we give Sadie four times a day uh, her medication. She has what they uh, call reflux in her stomach and stuff, so everything comes back up. So she had to have a surgery, you know, where they clamp her throat, and it's called a nisinflendification, uh, malrotation. So it's very serious. This stuff, she has slight inspiration, goes into her lungs, actually. So, you know, stuff through her mouth is a no-no. This is how we administer it here. Like I say, she has a, a G-tube that this is specifically called a Mickey. Then uh, here you just go in and push it in slowly. We do this four times a day, because hers is a severe, uncontrollable seizure, so. And that is her medication there. Yep. 10 to 15 minutes after we gave her, gave her the first one, she immediately uh, came around and I could see her eyes again and it was pretty, pretty awesome, you know. We thought we were going out on a limb and no, it's not out on a limb at all. <laughs> it's the safest thing we could have done. <laughs> the safest thing, period, we could have done the whole time. Yeah, the whole time. 